Hey guys, Bucky Larry down here at k l Machine and Welding again. Uh, Going to do our weekly video. Uh, today we've got the yeah, kind of a kind of a unique, not a real hard job that we're working on, but kind of a unique job. I've already started on it, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of give you the give you the rundown on it. Uh, as you can see, we got our head of security and entertainment here, Willie. He's uh, out here with us, and he's messing around here, chewing on a piece of ice, and just having himself a big time, as he usually does. But at any rate, let's come on over here. What we're working on today is a Caterpillar 236B skid steer. And uh, the problem the fellow is having is, is uh, and he's been having it for quite some time, uh, at when he uh, when he starts this thing up and he gets to running it, uh, he'll get a low oil pressure warning light. And he told me about this because I do the service on this machine. He told me about this, uh, oh gosh, I'm sure it was probably six months ago. And I told him then, I said, well, I said, it's probably a sending unit. I said, you know, I said, it's, you know, you're flirting with, flirting with uh, disaster dancing with the devil every time you run it though if you don't know for sure well he finally did bring it over which by then i was pretty well certain that uh that we had uh we had uh figured <laughs> we knew what the problem was that it certainly was not low oil pressure because the thing should have been hammering like it had uh, a, a crew of carpenters in the crankcase if, if it had been low oil pressure but anyways i'll go ahead and show you what we did to check it out uh, let me see if I can get this engine compartment open. And what we did here, uh, and this is what I told him we should have done quite some time ago. And he uh, just, and I understand, you know, I mean, he's he has his own construction company. And, you know, you got to make hay when the sun shines. But had this truly been low oil pressure, uh this thing would have been this engine would have been toast uh, as opposed to where we may have saved it uh, had he stopped earlier but luckily it was not low oil engine oil pressure it was a bad uh, bad sending unit and there's really nothing to it it's just a little pressure switch that's uh, designed to uh, make at 22 psi so in other words if the engine oil pressure drops below 22 psi your oil pressure your oil engine oil pressure light comes on to alert you to the fact that hey dummy you got low oil engine oil pressure now the thing of it is is these these switches do tend to get weak over time i don't know why i don't know if the contacts inside them burn i i just don't know I, you know, I mean, I don't have that information. But what I do know is, is that they do go bad. So what we did is, and I'm going to try to get down in here where you can see really good. We, uh, if you can see where this pressure gauge is, and you see the wire there. Well, the wire is the wire that actually goes to this pressure switch. And the adaptive... Uh, plumbing there that I had to use to put it put it in there uh, when we actually repair this what we'll do is is everything up to where the uh, pink uh, uh, thread tape is will be screwed out and uh, we'll put a new brand new pressure switch in and he'll be good to go now as you can see there's a T there and below that is a little stopper and what that is, and let me see if I can undo it so I can show you, and I can, what that is, that's actually a quick connect port for an oil pressure gauge. Uh, had he taken this to Caterpillar, uh, aside from charging a, a, a wad of money to check this out, it would have only taken them about five minutes because they wouldn't have had to use all the adaptive plumbing. They could have just used a quick connect test gauge that they have in their repertoire of uh, specialty tools 
and plugged in there and they would have known instantly when they fired it up that yes it did have plenty of oil pressure but that's not what we have so when i did start it up lo and behold what i found is is at idle this thing holds uh 50 pounds of oil pressure right now and that is just tremendous even cold you know because i realize that that pressure will drop some but uh it's only the specification on this particular engine which this is actually a perkins engine uh <laughs> believe it or not in a caterpillar uh the specification on this engine is that it is to hold from 22 to 30 i believe it's 36 psi of engine oil pressure uh at, at, at idle so uh this engine's in good shape uh no problem and i didn't expect it to be anything else because actually this engine only has about 1600 operating hours on it so it's not a terribly old machine so we weren't expecting anything but at any rate should you ever experience such a thing where you have an oil pressure light come on do stop now my suggestion to the owner of this machine was uh, to go ahead and let me install a small didn't have to be expensive just a just a you know a $20 uh, mechanical oil pressure gauge down here in line with or actually teed out from this so basically this would set here we would have a T here and we would have an oil pressure gauge sitting right here that way if this problem ever happened again and he wanted to continue to use his machine well he could verify on his own that what he was doing was the safe thing to do and that uh, he could continue to use it until the weather got nasty to where he didn't need his skid steer for a couple of days and he could bring it to me to fix it but uh, for whatever reason he doesn't want to do that uh, he seems to feel that the pressure switch done a fine job which it did it done a wonderful job it turned the light on but he didn't listen to it he continued to use the machine which could have been extremely dangerous and expensive for this machine so uh, as I say folks you know we're out here uh, making these videos not for money certainly not for glory or fame we're out here uh, making these trying to help you the k l viewer to keep from making the same mistakes that we find other folks making sometimes so again you know use your head when your oil pressure light comes on shut your machine down and either have it checked out or check it out yourself uh, just like we did here with a pressure gauge a mechanical pressure gauge so that you know that the reading you're getting is truly what it should be uh, don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with an electric uh, pressure gauge but for testing purposes I prefer mechanical gauges uh, but yeah you know don't don't run your don't run your equipment for months and months and months until you uh, <laughs> see see the opportunity to check it out because God knows you know eventually somebody would do that exact thing and keep running it and sure enough you would have low oil pressure and it would do tremendous expensive damage to your engine so with that that's where we're going to cut off for this week uh this is lucky larry down here at k l machine and welding and as i said yeah our name says machine and welding but we do what pays the bills and what pays the bills today is the oil pressure sending unit on a caterpillar 236 skid steer thanks for watching y'all make sure and subscribe to us see you next week